Bitcoin ordinals, what are they? Why should you care? And why is what Bitcoin Libre doing so important for Bitcoin and Bitcoin ordinals? Bitcoin Libre was originally built to be an L2 scaling solution for Bitcoin. In a video linked below where we first introduced Bitcoin Libre, I explained that, quote, Libre was built to, with a usability first approach to solve Bitcoin's biggest challenges, being high cost, low speed, and non-programmability. Well, that non-programmability piece has been recently changed with the advent of Bitcoin ordinals via the BRC20 token standard. This standard allows for basically Bitcoin NFTs, also known as Bitcoin ordinals or digital artifacts, to be inscribed on the Bitcoin blockchain itself. The Bitcoin Ordinals protocol was launched in January 2023 by Casey Rotermore and created an immutable on-chain record of these NFTs, which can be art, text, or even video. The ordinals theory treats Satoshis or SATs as atomic units on the Bitcoin blockchain, allowing them to be individually identified and therefore traded. Since February 2023, Bitcoin ordinals have become an undeniable part of the Bitcoin story, with the number of inscriptions at one point nearly doubling each and every week. Creating and interacting with these ordinals, namely buying, selling, and trading them, is somewhat a complex process, and this is where Bitcoin Libre comes in as an L2 scaling solution. On the main Libre.org webpage, we can of course head over to the DeFi application that allows for swaps to and from BTC and USDT, liquidity pools, and farming, but now we can see that there's a button for the coming soon ordinal section, which will allow for wrapped BRC20.sats and .BTC domains and a decentralized ordinal marketplace. Now, even though it's not ready yet, what we do have is a few sneak peeks at what this marketplace will look like and of course some of its features. Now, of course, keep in mind, this isn't live yet and could change from what we're seeing today, but what we can see so far, this does look pretty darn great. On the homepage, we can see the total BRC20 market cap, which at the time of this recording is over 230 million US dollars. We can also see the token list with price in both USD and SATs, the 24 hour price change, trading volume, market cap, and the number of wallets. If we click on one of the tokens, say VMPX, we can see the order book layout with token details, the order book itself with your buy sell options and your open orders, and basically a fully functioning marketplace per token. On the wallet tab, it looks like we're going to be able to see what tokens we own as well as all of our open orders. The mint tab isn't functioning yet, but my guess is this is where we can mint our own BRC20 tokens. And finally, there's an FAQ that breaks down all that we need to know about Libre, Ordinals, and of course, the Libre marketplace. What we've also been teased is what the mobile version of this Libre Ordinal marketplace will look like, and it looks quite slick. Nice, clean UI, and covers all the functions that we want to do all from our smartphones. Now, again, keep in mind, these are early designs, and so once the product is live, it could very much look different. But if anything, it's probably going to look even better than what we're seeing today, which is pretty awesome. So with all that being said, you might still be asking yourself, why do you care? Or at least, why should you care? Well, that answer was actually quite succinctly provided by a tweet from Mark Jeffrey just a few days ago. He lays out a scenario where BlackRock plus Fidelity BTC ETFs pump Bitcoin, very probably, he thinks. Because BRC20s are denominated in sats, not dollars, BRC20s should rise with the price of BTC. Bitcoin L2s with BRC20 rails in place, which of course he mentions Libre Wallet, also do incredibly well. Increased demand for Bitcoin leads to increased demand for BRC20s, SATs names, ordinals, and of course Bitcoin L2s. DeFi on Bitcoin rapidly evolves in earnest with these L2s. The one standout point for me there is that the BRC20 assets are basically pegged in terms of the pricing of Bitcoin itself. This is also mentioned in a recent tweet from Ordinal Labs, where they point out that the BRC20s are indeed moving in price with Bitcoin and the broader crypto market. Okay, so that's it for now. As we learn more about what is being built on Bitcoin Libre, including this wicked Ordinal marketplace, we'll be sure to let you know. So be sure to share, subscribe, and of course, follow along as we learn more and we bring that to you. Also, if you'd like to have a look at our full playlist of Bitcoin Libre, hit that box right there.